So if you plan on being competitive in iRacing, you know that takes a lot of testing. That testing consists of turning laps on the track. After turning these laps, you need to analyze the time differences. Maybe one line is better than another high line versus low line, for example. You might also want to look at tire wear, and it might be important to know at what point in the stint your time started to drop off. In the past, I've had to do it manually by averaging the lap times with a calculator. But now, i found a program called Stint Analyzer that gives you this information plus so much more. Let's take a look at it. All right, so to analyze our two stints, the high line versus the low line, we use this tool called Stint Analyzer. Okay, as I was editing this video, I realized I forgot to cover the installation. So to find the file, we go to StintAnalyzer.com. That should take us to the GitHub page for Stint Analyzer. His wiki page is here. Download the latest release. Download. You save it. I see you've already downloaded it. I'll save it again. Yeah, it replace it. It's a very small file. So we'll click it. You get the protected. Uh, we've covered this many times. People, small, free programs can't afford to pay Microsoft the big bucks. It's safe. Run anyway. That'll bring it up the uh, installation. Put it on your desktop if you want to, yada, yada. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to run it again. It doesn't take long. Yeah, exit setup. It also has really good documentation here. If you go to help, then documentation. Brings up a PDF with details about what a lot of the stuff does. How to set it up for your Discord. I have it set up in my Discord that every time I run a race or do a do something, it it pops up in here. Uh, that's the IndyCar race I won a few days ago. But I digress. Installation straightforward. On with the details. Put the link in the description below. As you can see here, it has the last two stints that I ran here. I actually only ran 19 laps on the second stint, so I'll show you how to take care of that here in a second. And if we scroll across this way, we can see that our three lap average, five lap average, seven lap average, 10 lap average, 15 was faster on the second stint, which was on the low line, which actually was a tire saving lane. If we want to take a look at tire wear, select those two stints, come up here, compare tires, and here we are on the tire wear, second stint right here. Left front was the same, wear was the same, left rear basically the same, right front. This is where the magic happens. We were actually a little hotter on a low lane, but we didn't put as much wear. I remember we're only 20 laps, so a little, a little over halfway the race distance. And the right rear, we didn't drive it off the right rear as much. But we can also compare two stints side by side. So right here is where we can figure out what the total difference is if we have a different number of laps. See, at 20 laps in the first stint, so we don't have anything compared to in the second stint. So we come back up here to the line right above it, and we got 624 total time, that's in seconds, and 620 total time in seconds. We were four seconds faster on our second stint than we were on our first stint. You can also compare them by graph. It was overall lower for a couple around lap 16. Lap 15, 16, I was a little faster on the high line. Now you can see this is pretty handy for uh, comparing different lines or different setups. Uh, if you're doing open setups, obviously you can make changes. But even if you're running a fixed setup, you can compare different lines and different tire wear, all without a calculator. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, 
subscribe if you want to see more comment below let me know what you like or if you have questions and as always thanks for watching